Do we really have to go to Mrs. Wallowitz's house? We do. And I expect you to be on your best behavior. Now I know how the African slaves felt. <laughs> Being dragged from their homes to labor under the yoke of the white man. Are you honestly comparing Thanksgiving dinner at Wallowitz's mom's with one of the greatest tragedies in the history of mankind? Yes. <laughs> Sheldon, you can have a nice Thanksgiving anywhere. I spent one in Vegas. You did? Yeah, back when I was dating Zach. It was actually more fun than I thought. We gambled, went to one of those cheesy wedding chapels. We had a really good turkey dinner, which was surprising since we were at a strip club. <laughs> Wait, you went to a chapel? Yeah. Why? We had one of those silly fake weddings. <laughs> Penny, you know those are real, right? No, they're not. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. Yeah, he's right. They're real. But it didn't seem real. No traffic, we're sailing. Yeah, it's like we're on a ship. <laughs> Coming from Africa to America. Sheldon, this is completely inappropriate. You can't keep comparing yourself to a slave. Yes, Miss Amy. <laughs> I believe you're married to that idiot. Would you stop? We just did it as a goof. A goof or not, you're actually married. You need to get this taken care of. I will. Why are you making this such a big deal? Oh, oh, oh I have a reason. It could be because you said yes to marrying Zach, but every time Leonard's proposed, he's gotten a resounding no. <laughs> yeah, that's just off the top of my head. So how do I undo this? I'm hoping you can get an annulment so it's just like it never happened. Great, well, what do I have to do? It says here you can get an annulment if any of the following conditions are met. Were you unable to consummate the marriage? <laughs> Penny, next. <laughs> Is there any evidence of fraud, bigamy, want of understanding? Want of understanding? What does that even mean? Ding, 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 we have a winner. <laughs> Sorry she made you come over here on a holiday. It's all right. I didn't have anything going on. Plus, Penny told me we we're married and Thanksgiving's a time to be with family. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. Can we just get this over with? Yeah, uh, you guys have to sign here and here. On Monday, we'll file for the annulment and this marriage will be over. I don't know if I want to sign it. <laughs> Why won't you sign it? I just think splitting up can be rough on kids. We don't have any kids. Are you sure? Because you didn't know we were married until this morning. OK, look, Zach, come on. You know neither of us thought this was real. I mean, we were married by an Elvis impersonator. Of course it was an impersonator. We could never afford a real Elvis. <laughs> You married him instead of me? Uh, good call. <laughs> Sign the paper. Hang on. You know what? You've been a jerk about this all day. You always do this. Whenever I mess up, you're right there to make me feel even worse about it. That is not true. Yeah, we could have waited till Monday, signed the papers, this all would have been over. You're the one who invited him here. Oh, there you go again. Just another mistake you're throwing in my face. Not cool, bro. <laughs> I'm starting to think you're not the kind of guy I want dating my wife. Yeah, well, she's not going to be your wife for long. Oh, no, are you dying? I'm about to. Sign the paper. You know what they say, happy wife, happy life. Let's eat. Thanks again for cooking. Yeah, everything was delicious. Well, I couldn't have done it without my two favorite girls, Martha Stewart and Rachel Ray. <laughs> Sheldon, what do you say we go outside and throw around the old pigskin? This is a Jewish house. I don't think they have pigskin. <laughs> Did someone say pigskin? I am sorry about today. And I promise next time I get married, it won't be a joke. It'll be for love. Or money. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. Don't be. It's my fault. I was a terrible husband. <laughs> I was never around.